but everything. It is Friday, November 3rd, 2023. It's about 7.40. Um, project for today, I'll tell you about. It's concerning this hay. Uh, got everybody uh, out and fed. Uh, need to fill their pool up in a bit. Um, so, the hay on the back of the truck, what I'd like to do with it is I'm going to build a wind block in this area so so the straw is going to be outside of the coop but inside outside for the chickens inside for the ducks because the ducks ain't going to get up on it the chickens will i'm trying to get out block the wind from the uh north west area the sail of course is going to provide some kind of shelter from the elements rain or snow to some degree but the wind is what I'm trying to take care of going forward so I'll bring you back when that's all said and done all right it's now 1 30 I just got back from trucking with the hubby I have the straw lined up I don't know how much of a difference it's gonna make but hopefully some um, I'm gonna go in the combine with my neighbor he's over there harvesting soybeans so I'll bring you along in a bit so explain this process to me here it picks up the it go, it's so all I'm it's all pulling it in the middle yep okay. the belts are turning it and then there's a belt feeding it there's a feeder house it goes into and then there's sieves back there and it, it and a big rotor and it goes through there and then it shakes all the shaft That's off yeah. then it comes into there that is cool started there yesterday mm -hmm. did all that and I got started here last night I saw you when we came back yeah. Yeah, it doesn't tell you your 
full and it's time to empty. Oh, the hopper? Yes, it It'll be bad. But oh, it would be bad. It's got a long ways to go. Oh, okay. Yeah. Like I could, I can have like 400 bushel. Pretty easy. But I've only been putting like 200. Oh. This will have 250 on it, roughly. combine and I had we were like 18 acres into it and it burned up caught fire so we had to get this last year definitely faster than the last one then. this is yeah yeah a lot bigger That was my ride in the combine and I am going to turn around and head back home. So it's now 6 p.m. I just got the uh, crackings put up and I was thinking about a missed opportunity yesterday. I had the opportunity to go and castrate and dehorn a few calves that are going to be uh, put down next spring, but the timeline didn't work because I had that book club, so I'm thinking that work for the day is going to be seize the moment and take the opportunity when it comes next time hopefully anyway thanks for stopping by trust everyone had a blessed day and i'll catch you on the next one bye